The crucifixion of Jesus has always been a political act. It's always been politicized. So I, I, I have this uh, little quick digression. I have this story in the book that actually happened. Courtney can attest to it. Is that I'm, I'm sitting in our living room and I'm watching 60 Minutes. And it's Bill O'Reilly. And he's talking about his book, Killing Jesus, which came out like a year and a half ago. And he is saying that like um, Jesus was killed because in the temple... He turned over the tables because he was trying to disrupt the tax. The, the, the temple leaders were overtaxing the folks. That's how O'Reilly says it. The folks were being taxed. And so Jesus, by breaking up the, both the temple tax and the Roman tax, like he was a small government anti-tax, you know, tea party guy. <laughs> Clearly. So, yeah, this is what O'Reilly says. So Jesus like turns over the tables, Jesus disrupts the flow of taxes, and so they have to silence him. So Courtney's sitting across the room. She is studying for her yoga teacher training at Lifetime Fitness, and she's reading a book called The World Peace Diet. And, right, and she's like, no, she had to read it. She had to read it, required reading. And she's like, you know, it's like written in the 80s, it's like super t- terrible cover, and you know, like, you can imagine, World Peace Diet, right? So... <laughs> She's like, I have to read you that. At the commercial break, she's like, I've got to read you this. So she starts reading me from this book. And this author is like, he says, Jesus was killed because he went into the temple, turned over the tables, freed the sacrificial animals because Jesus was an animal liberationist. (laughs) Jesus was an early vegan, and he stood up to the hurting elite, and the hurting elite had to silence him because they made all their money from selling these animals. So, so I'm like, I'm, I'm watching Bill O'Reilly do this, and I'm hearing this like <laughs> vegan liberal do this, and I'm like, how can this act, this act? And then you go, you like read about the turning over the temples. It's two verses long. There's nothing about being vegan, or <laughs> there's nothing about tea party or anything in there. So it's, it's politicized, right? Joseph, it's politicized. It's politicized from the beginning. And in the book, like, I think if anybody writes a book on the crucifixion, it would be irresponsible of them not to talk about the anti-Judaism that is rooted in the very early history of the church. Early church fathers, starting in the early second century, were calling Jews Christ killers. And so, like, one of the things that Christians need to do, if we're going to put this event, this cross, this crucifixion at the center of our faith, we have to always be going back and making reparations for that history. And we have to realize this, it, well, there you go, thank you, all right. This is, a, this is a political act, right? It was a political act when it happened. It's been politicized ever since, which makes it like radioactive. And so how we, it, could be a very, it can be a very potent symbol, the cross, but it can be, it can be damning as well.